Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I want to talk about three tips to make yourself more consistent. These three tips I know has helped me and I know it can help you too in your trading. Number one, I would highly suggest you block everyone on Twitter who just shares their PL. The reason it's not healthy is because you're going to be constantly comparing yourselves to them. And you might see someone who does that and they don't post losses either. So it's going to make you think that maybe I need to be perfect like that person. So blocking Twitter really helped me personally in my trading because it helped me really stop comparing myself. Maybe you don't have that challenge, but it definitely is something that's hard to admit. It was hard for me to admit that. But once I admitted that, it was easy to fix because all I had to do is block all those people and then follow the people who mainly talked about psychology, mainly talk about principles, the way to trade, or maybe they're sharing your charts because that's important. You can at least see how they trade. The second one is going to be blocking your personal PL. Don't look at it. However, whatever you need to do, get rid of it from your screen. And you also want to not upload your trades. I mean, I know that's hard to hear because you're probably going to think, when, how do I know if I'm right, Alex? And I'm telling you, you know if you're right or if you're wrong. You know. Just don't upload it. And I and I don't upload it for the whole month. It's helped me dramatically for my trading. So I'm just sharing with you what's helped me grow. But I can tell you, maybe start off when I started, I started off maybe not the day I wouldn't look at it. And then and then I actually went to a week. And then I went to a month. And my goal is to eventually get to a quarter. Every quarter then I'll upload. Now it's gonna be a while till I get there, but that's where I'm working towards. It will teach you how to stop worrying about each trade. It'll eventually for me, I started forgetting about the previous trade and just focus on the now moment, focusing on being back at zero to zero, right? Fresh start, every trade, one good trade. Like Mike Bellafor says, always focus on the next trade. If I had a bad day, sure, I might've known I had a bad day, but I, I didn't really know the dollar value. And as long as you stick to your risk, this, really, this, this won't work if you don't have risk management because then you'll have like big swings. If you have risk management and you cut your losses every time, then you know you're gonna be safe overall. Then I highly suggest you try this. So that way the next you know couple of days, you might have a couple of losses in a row. You'll, you'll tend to forget how many losses you have had and it lets you stay focused. And then, and then vice versa, when you're winning a lot, you don't really know how many trades you've won so you're staying focused in the moment. So it prevents you from having an over ego and prevents you from having no ego, right? You gotta be in the middle, you gotta be calm. One of my previous episodes where I interviewed Tagger Trades, he actually doesn't look at SPNL for the quarter. The third thing is gonna be sticking to my plan. I made a video recently about how to make a plan. It's very simple, but definitely watch that video. It should be somewhere up here. Watch that video because it's easy to make one but you need to learn how to make one, but it's even harder to stick to one. So I practice on just sticking to the plan. That means trading so small that wins don't matter and losses equally don't matter. But you learn how to stick to a plan and you build the habit muscle of always sticking to your plan. And then I'm give you a bonus here for sticking to one strategy. If you listen to me on Be The Trader or you listen to any of the podcast episodes I've done, with some other traders, they all have started out with one or two strategy. When I stuck to one strategy, you start to see unique characteristics within that one strategy that you wouldn't see if you're focused on so many different ones. To recap, I wanna let you guys know, number one, block people on Twitter. Number two, hide your own profit loss. Number three, sticking to your plan. And number four, as a bonus, sticking to one or two setups. If you follow these four tips, you will see a change in your own trading. It happened to me and I know it can happen to you too. And I just want to make sure whatever I can do to help you guys, I can do. And because I know how stressful it can be when it comes to trading, especially when you really want it. So just give this a shot and you'll see some progress. Comment below. Let me know if you have found some success doing this or if you like any specific tip. And be sure to check out the website, bethestory.net. Check out the podcast, Be The Trader, where I interview other traders. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you can, subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified for future episodes where I post on the podcast versions when I'm interviewing guests. We're talking about my own journey. Thanks again. You guys have a great day.